right guys, bass drop keys, your friendly neighborhood Nick wrote. Today's video guys, we're going to be doing an unboxing and product review of the AC Infinity T4. Now one thing I want to say about this is, this video is not sponsored. I actually paid for this myself. This video is not sponsored at all. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right now, AC Infinity T4 inline fan unboxing and product review. I got it from Amazon. Let's check it out. All right. All right, guys, so you can see the Cloud 9 series roof fan for inline duct. Yep. All right. We got the controller right here. This is one of the this is one of the reasons why I really wanted to get this unit because you can control everything from outside without having to go inside the tent all the time. Oh, this is the sensor right here. You can see that. See the sensor and it has a long cord on it. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that this right here is not heavy. What else we got in here? Okay, we got bracket, zip ties to hang it up. More brackets here. Great. So we obviously have power cord. This is gonna be the cord that goes into the controller right here, obviously. And this one right here is really long too. I like that they made these cords long. So that way you can have some freedom of movement. With the short cord, you'd have to put it in a, in a specific place. But these cords right here are so long, the the sensor itself and then the controller. Let's go ahead and take this out. Oh, obviously, use your manual. I always give those a read before we throw them out. All right, and we have the controller right here. What I wanna do is I wanna plug this in and plug this into the controller and let's just see how it sounds, you know, if it's uh, quiet. Let's just check it out. So let me, give me one second and let me uh, go ahead and plug this in. And one second. And let's plug this in. Now let's see what we got here. All right, so now let's go ahead and plug in the sensor right here. And once again, the sensor has a long cord on it, so you can basically put it wherever you need to put it at. Here. And then it just plugs right into the bottom. And bam. So yeah, so the only thing that's left to do is, and you guys already seen it done before, so I don't think I really need to go through that, is putting it up in the tent. You know how to put up a fan inside of a tent. All right guys, so we're gonna set up our system so that way we can have everything the way we want it. So I have it on auto mode right here. You can see it has different modes that you can go through. Alarm settings, so you can get an alarm if it goes past, you know, certain settings. On, off, timer, you can have it, you know, 30 minutes or whatever you want to do. And so what I'm doing is I'm uh, setting up the the system. So for high temperature, yeah, when it, ha when it turns, if it goes past 85, then it's going to come on so it can cool it. That's good. Um, low temperature, if it goes under 50, yeah, that's fine. High humidity, um, yeah, let's put it at uh, 85. Low humidity, 40. All right, that's good. Alarm, if it goes above 90, if it goes below 40. High, yeah, if it goes, you know, if it hits 100, I'll get an alarm. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's go at 35. If it goes to 35, I'll get alarm. There we go. Yeah, so this right here is really simple to set up. You don't even need to read the manual for this. You can basically just go through it. It's pretty easy. As you can see, it's 69 degrees inside the tent, which is great. Let's go ahead and set it on. Uh, there we go. I can hear that it came on. There it is. So you guys can actually hear it. And so what you can see that I did, I have a vent right here underneath here. So I have the power cord and everything going out right here. So everything doesn't look messy. I have the sensor right here. 
hanging inside here so that way you know it's, it's actually telling the system all the temperatures and everything i'm gonna close this up i just got finished doing this i'm gonna close this up but yeah it's on it's on it's working awesome it's really quiet too man it's really quiet hell yeah so in the comment section you guys let me know what do you think about this this right here is the t4 they obviously have a t6 and a t8 it's really about all about how much air do you need to move and so i have this t4 and i can already tell you that i'm going to be getting a t6 as well because i mean i just love the way these units operate and i've heard nothing but good things about it and there's a lot of growers that i really respect that use these and i mean for home growers this right here is you know definitely i would say i feel like an industry standard you know what i mean and plus you know with the humidity controls and everything and the fan controls you can basically set it how we just did and you don't have to worry about so much stuff you know what i'm saying i've only been growing like what 57 58 days now and i already have 25 plants so these units is going to make a you know a great difference for me if you're interested in getting the t4 the t6 or the t8 i will put the links down in the description box click the link it'll take you right over where you can get you one yourself if you're interested in seeing more information about it click the link and it'll take you right over there so you can check it out once again this is not sponsored i bought this myself ac infinity did not send me this for free i bought this myself so i hope you guys uh, found this useful if you did make sure that you like the video subscribe to the channel i really appreciate all the love from everybody until i see you guys the next time peace i'm out guys much love